Greetings to my New Testament Writings in Context course here at LaGrange College Online. This is your instructor, Larry Aspel, and I wanted to come to you here at the end of Lesson 5 and the beginning of Lesson 6 just to say hi and tell you how much I appreciate sharing this great learning adventure with you. I appreciate so much how busy your lives are. Uh, you are all full-time students, and on top of that, so many of you are nursing students, which means you have full-time jobs. Uh, several of you are student athletes, which means you've been very, very busy, not just to playing and competing in games, but practicing, getting ready, etc. Some of you have families, big families, busy families. And so I understand this is a huge, busy time of your life. And at the same time, you're you're doing what is a required core course in the New Testament. Who knew that you would ever take a New Testament course at LaGrange College? Well, what a great experience it has been. I've so much enjoyed watching you not only complete assignments, but watching your understanding develop, watching you learn from each other, encouraging each other along the way. And, you know, I think to, to whatever degree we've been able to experience a learning community here online. It's just been a very valuable experience. So I want to encourage you now that we're, you know, we just have lesson six, lesson seven, and the very end of this class ahead of us to just stay the course, catch up where you need to catch up. I'm here to serve you. I'm here to assist you in any way that I can. Uh, lesson six is focused on what's usually called general epistles, Hebrews, James, 1st, 2nd Peter, 1st and 2nd, 3rd John, Jude, and certainly their small letters, except for Hebrews, of course, which is a little bit longer, that most people are not that familiar with. Most Christians have not read that much. And so I think this is going to be a very interesting experience for you to kind of get caught up and familiarize yourself. These books are in the New Testament, and so they're important to us. And I think you're going to enjoy exploring them together. So let's launch into a Lesson 6. I just want to let you know that I appreciate you, that you are in my prayers, Linda's prayers, every day. Uh, and uh, I just look forward to continuing on this road with you. Let me know if there's anything I can do to serve you, any way that I can help. I'm certainly here to encourage you as well as to learn with you. So God bless you and have a great week.